Hello learners, this is the video solution for the question number 5 in the week 5 graded assignment in computational thinking. Let's get to the question. The question reads that the following pseudo code is executed on the words table. Assume that the rows in the table are sorted in the ascending order of sequence number. So let's jump into the code. Start is equal to true. Outlist is equal to an empty list. While table 1 has more rows, read the first row x in table 1. If start. Now this statement means that if start has the value true, only then will we enter this if statement. Once we enter this if statement, we assign, the, we assign an empty list to win list and false to the variable start. And then we exit this if statement and append to in list a list of lists containing two elements. These two elements are the word and the part of speech in the row x. Now if x.word ends with a full stop, we append the in list as a whole list to out list and we assign true to the variable start. We exit the if statement and move x to table 2. So before we get into the questions, let's have a look what in list would look like at the end of, end of each sentence. So let's say this is in list. Now when a sentence ends with a full stop, in list becomes an empty list as we can see from here which means in list would look something like this before the end of the sentence so this is a list of lists where each of these lists contain the word and the part of speech as two elements in each list so essentially in list contains an entire sentence. Now let's get into the questions. So the part A of question number 5 reads that at the end of execution, which of the following statements are true about the variable outlist? We can see that it's a multiple select question. So option number 1 reads, each element in outlist corresponds to one sentence from the paragraph. So we see that from this line, what are we appending to outlist? We are appending the entire in list at the end of the sentence into outlist. So the outlist, I'm just giving a vague representation here. So outlist should look something like this. and so on. So here each element in outlist is essentially the in list up to the full stop. That means, that means each element is a sentence in the paragraph where each of these uh, elements contain the word and the part of speech in the sentence. So getting back to the question, we see that option number 1 is correct. Now if option number 1 is correct, automatically we can rule out option number 2 and 3 as they read that each element corresponds to one word or one character which is not true. Now we see that the fourth option is also correct because outlist was in fact a list of lists. Now in question B. It reads that which of the following statements are true about the variable start during the course of execution of the above pseudocode. This was also a multiple select question. So the first option reads that the variable start is set to false at the last word of every sentence. So what they're talking about is this if statement. So once you enter this if statement, it automatically assigns true to the variable start which means that the first option is wrong. 
Since the first option is wrong, we can automatically select the second option to be true as we see that start is set to true at the last word of every sentence, which means option number two is true. Option number three reads that the variable start is set to false at the first word of every sentence. So the first word of every sentence means that at the end of the sentence, we assign true to start, which means when it runs in the next iteration, it enters this if statement, it assigns an empty list to in list, and we see that it also assigns false to start which means option number three is also correct. Since option number three is correct, we can rule out option number four being right. So in question number five, part A, option number one and option number four are the correct answers. And in part B, option number two and option number three are the correct answers. Thank you learners.